You too. Electrical Storm. That's great. That's great. I love that. I'm XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl, I want you to tell Steve what you told me in the week. <sighs> about right. the snake, about the anaconda. How to. Right, this is Carl's method. He's not scared of the anaconda, the 30 foot long, biggest, scariest snake. No, you were talking about stuff, weren't you, about in jungles and that, and animals. <laughs> That's and what we do. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I remember reading hmm. about, say if you're in the jungle and, uh, and you get tired and you go to sleep, right, and you, w and you sort of wake up and you feel something on your leg and you look down and it's an anaconda, right? Yes. And it's, uh, it's swallowing your feet because they, apparently they always go f from the feet up. Uh -huh. They never, they never eat you from the head. So, um... Okay. Um, I, 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 should, I, should I save these points to the end? Cause make that's a, Make wrong. a list of the points. Cause they, cause they always eat head first cause the way the fur goes where they, they have to take a capybara or even a rat, they, they take it from the but, head but first make, make, a, make, make, sure. a okay, make, 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 make some notes. Okay, so that's we, wrong. We'll come back okay, to next, later. go on. So they always eat you from the feet, go on. <laughs> so, so they swallow in your feet and <laughs> it's said on, on the, on the website, if you wake up and you see this anaconda doing that sort of eating away at your feet, don't panic. Um, don't and panic. I'm don't just writing this down. Don't okay. panic. Well done. Okay, go on. Don't, uh, don't try and kick it off. Okay. Just let it sort of swallow you. Mm -hmm. But only up to your knees. Okay. okay. Why, right. why not kick it off straight away? Cause it, uh... I think it sort of gets a bit angry, it starts thrashing about and it, oh. it can swallow faster, I think. Oh um, yeah. Okay. I'm guessing okay. that bit. Okay. Uh, just put a question mark by that. Okay, there, pop a question mark next so, uh, to uh, yeah. eat knees. So yeah, so it's up eat it, knees. So eat it up to your knees. It's, yeah. it's up to your knees. Yeah, and then yeah, what yeah. you do is you yeah. get a knife. Yeah. Okay. And you cut. Oh, and how do you get a knife? Do you do, you, do you walk knife. over to the kitchen? I was going to pop over. Get knife. Where's <laughs> that come from? Get well, you, knife. You always have a knife. Okay. Always have a knife. Of course <laughs> you do. Always. Otherwise you're a fool. Always have a knife. Okay. okay. Well, come on. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going to go into a jungle, always have a knife. Okay. Always have a knife. Yeah. Simple. Um, could I just suggest something? You know, suppose you've got, you're wearing combat trousers and the knife is actually in that, the, you know, those, the trousers by the knee, the sort of pocket by the knee. What happens then? You could, I suppose you could still reach in, into the mouth, couldn't you? So anyway, you've got a knife. Let's well, say you've got a knife. Let's say you've fallen asleep, the anaconda's chewing your feet, you let it eat up to the knees, you've got a knife, what do you do then, Carl? Right. So it's up to your knees and what you do, you get your knife that you got out of your pocket earlier, um, and you cut it at the mouth, right? Do you know, like, either side of the lips? Right. So you're sort of cutting it in half. Right, like a Chelsea and smile. And it can't- yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It can't do anything. Uh, it wasn't ready for that. It can't move about because it's got, like, your legs in its mouth. Uh-huh. Um, and peel it off and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, my- my main point, really, is this, Carl. Never will an anaconda or any constrictor, python, boa constrictor, uh, just start eating a sleeping man. <laughs> he will crush you to death first. <laughs> That's why they're called constrictors. They're not called gobblers, are they? <laughs> or holy swallowers. They're called constrictors. Why would he start eating something? Is that how they t take down antelope? Just start chewing their leg? Oh, it's gone off. I'll tell you what, lads. They get together, the snakes got there and said, I'll tell you what, we're losing a lot of prey by just living at their ankles. They're running away. Let's crush them to death first so they can't move, then we can swallow them. You're a fool. So anyway, right, so uh, I was telling him this bit of information because we started a feature last week. Mm -hmm. Well, week before. So Sorry, Carl, class. can we just go back to the crushing you to death first? Yeah, but, well, I read it. He's won, he's won there. He's beating <laughs> you there, Rick. Okay. Did I'm it say what to do if it starts crushing you to death first? No, 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 no. Did it say what to do if, supposing it, 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 it had this meeting, it had this meeting, and it, it started crushing you and you woke up and it was actually round your chest. And every time you <gasps> try to take a breath and breathe that a little bit, it just tightened its grip because it can feel that. What 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 do you do then? You uh, you sort of tighten yourself up anyway because oh. I've read about that. Yeah. If Go one on. does start wrapping it around you, you sort of make yourself into a ball first of all, and it'll wrap around you. But it's all right because you're pre protecting your lungs so it can't crush you, and then you just sort of shout for help and right. you and you, oh, you shout you, shout for help with this thirty foot snake. Don't know. <laughs> Cause, do, do you know how it works? It gets as tight as it can, it can feel as tight as- actually as tight as it can, right? With these huge, huge muscles, yeah. right? Yep. Right? When you <gasps> leave a bit of breath yeah, out, it tightens do again. Don't- you won't be that out of breath, you haven't been running anywhere, so you can just go- 
What, and, and, and when do you get the, the new mouthful of oxygen? Just, just breathe very slowly like you do. How? Do you know what breathing is? Do you know what breathing is? <laughs> it's extending your rib cage, right, intercostal muscles between the ribs, contract like that, okay, making the rib cage expand, which pulls air in through, it's like a bellow. That you can't just breathe by, via the mind. It's a physical process. It's your rib cage <gasps> pulling well, maybe, maybe I'm special, but I can do little breaths. Without my ribcage. Play a record, Steve. <laughs> yeah, you're special. Play a record. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You, you can't take little breaths well, without moving your ribcage. Can I just give you the titles because we're running out of time. We've got a competition.